welcome back to my channel. So I've just packed my bag as you can see um, and I'm off on my adventure to Mount Fuji and then we're going to go down to Kyoto. Um, I've got so much stuff. I've got my handbag, my laptop and then obviously this massive bag on my back and um, I didn't think I'd carry it all but if I carry my laptop in my hands and my handbag then I can finally fit everything. I have way too much stuff to be carrying around. Alright, so let's go and we're going to go on the bullet train today. Yee! There's the bullet train. It goes so fast when it goes off. We just arrived at Oadawa and from Tokyo to here it only took half an hour and I barely even got anything done on my computer so I just uploaded videos and I didn't even get to edit that's how fast the train ride was. Alright let's go! So now I've got to find a bus but it's all written in So I just got off at my stop and look, it's literally steaming down there. I must be at a hot spring, but there's that steam rising. Um, let me just move you around. This is the most beautiful place. I'm so glad I came here. Um, along the way, there's just been um, like waterfalls and look, like tristling waterfalls the whole way um, and we're at the bottom and there was just rivers and all these like adorable bridges. Now I'm just gonna find where I'm staying and um, I don't have Wi-Fi so I'm just gonna have to guess I guess. Um, maybe I'll get out my little map and check what it's called. It's called um, actually I might go that way because it looks like kind of like a main town. Oh, I don't know. It's just so beautiful and I'm going to stay in here all day. So, um, I didn't explain what happened before. So, I just got off the bus and I don't have Wi-Fi. So, I stopped and I just took photos randomly at the little bridge with the river running underneath because it was so beautiful and then an old lady was walking behind me and she goes um oh this is so pretty and she goes she points me and she goes beautiful and I go yes it's so beautiful and um then I just turned around and go uh so you saying could you help me like lost and I think she understood and I showed her the map and then she goes, she points for me to follow her so I followed her and then she goes inside a hairdresser's which I'm assuming was her business because she opened it up and then locked it um and then I'm guessing her house was right next door because she opened that up and went inside and grabbed her shoes and then she points up into the mountain and goes up there like up there is the place that you need to get to I was like oh no how am I gonna find this place so we she walks me to the bus stop like information area and um they talk for like 20 minutes like no I'm like I don't know how I don't know why it took that long for them to figure out where it was but we were talking, they were talking and she printed out a map and then she goes, come get in my car. I was like, um, okay. Like she seemed like a really nice woman. She like owned the local hairdressers and um, she was probably like my grandma's age and she's like, oh, so good and like talking to me. So I was like, okay, this is fine. She seems very lovely and she, she definitely got a map to get me there. Um, so I jump in a car and then she not only drives me to um, the guest house, but then she um, like helps me like get my stuff out of my, the car, like all my bags and takes me there. I was so grateful. I was like, oh, I think I took a Like if I had anything, I would give it to her, like as a gift, like a thank you. So I'm gonna remember to keep 
Australian gifts in my backpack in case people be really nice to me and I can be like, oh, thank you so much. Okay, so that's what happened. So I have my own onsen bath tonight and it's completely private so I don't need swimmers and it's perfect because I never found a pair um, in Tokyo. So I'm the first one here so I got to pick the best bed which is the corner one. Hakone tent and so far it is truly amazing. I love it. adorable sushi shop you've ever seen. If I could live in Japan, I would live here and own this shop. This is my dream that I've just had. <laughs> over there. I can see. I can see. Okay, I'm gonna go find it. There it is. I'm not going crazy. I'm gonna go edit one of my videos, have some dinner, and then have an onsen. Can you hear that? Something's playing music. speakers up there. So, 
Um, before I was really frantic trying to run around trying to find my um, guest house for the night um, because I just had a lot of um, incidents where I was just getting lost a lot. So it's night time now and we're in a really beautiful place. There's lots of temples and lanterns and um, beautiful women wearing kimonos. <laughs> And it's just really lovely around these streets, so I think I definitely picked some really nice places to stay. Why the lovers roam the streets? And I know it ain't your fault. You just follow the heartbeat. You were true. Probably going to be my dinner for the next few nights because um, I've only got $50 left to spend um, for dinners for pretty much the next week so I'm going to be eating a lot of $2 ramens and soups and um, anything I can find at the convenience store really. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video today and I'm loving Kyoto so much. It's so beautiful at night, so I can't wait to show you guys around in the daytime. So, thanks for watching. Bye.